Welcome to Tackle Talk Live, dedicated to making you a better fisherman. Proudly brought to you by our sponsors, The Boat Shop, 3J's 4-Way, Pride Rods, Keith's Toledo Bend Tackle, The Lakes Insurance Agency, Lone Star Bass Trail, V&M Baits. Now on to your host, Ranger Daiwa Pro Staff Steve Graff and V&M Baits President Kevin Jean. Hello, welcome to another edition of Tackle Talk Live. I'm Ranger Diver Pro Staffer Steve Graff, along with VNM President and General Manager Kevin Jean, and we are here today to talk to you about a really big tournament that's going to be coming up. It's not the next month or two, but you better make plans now for the first week in February because there's a big one coming up, Kevin, over there. At uh, Sam there, is, there is, and, and we're going to jump all into it today with the tournament director Ryan Williams. Ryan is also the manager of Ross Motorsports over uh, over in East Texas, the number one bass cat bass cat dealer in, in the nation. And uh, going to talk to Ryan a little bit about the tournament and um, it's some the biggest tournament ever to hit Sam Rayburn. I think the biggest team tournament to ever hit the nation. I mean, this yeah. is this yeah, is it's, huge. It's a big uh, deal. Also, Steve, the Bassmaster Elite Series schedule got announced. Yep. The and for all you Rayburn guys, the uh, Pro Team Circuit got announced, and I mean not the Team Circuit, the Pro Circuit got announced. The Tackle Warehouse Tackle Pro Warehouse. Circuit, MLF, yeah. not Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit. That series got announced starting at Sam Rayburn the end of January, and then the Toyota series got yeah. announced coming to Sam Rayburn twice. All three of those events, so. two will be at Rayburn, one at Texoma, and. Uh, so, uh, and, and just just to kind of give you a little heads up, guys, I found out today myself, uh, Highport Marine on on uh, uh, Texoma is not putting allowing tournaments out there anymore. So uh, I've already noticed that Durant, Oklahoma, is the host for the Toyota Series uh, for Texoma. That's the second event of the Toyota Series. They're going out of Durant, Oklahoma, and I guess it's part of the reason is Highport's no longer hosting tournaments out of that marina. So if you're a Texoma guy, prepare yourself to have to go to Oklahoma side probably to, to uh, for a tournament. I know that's where the TTO tournament's going uh, in, in August, the last week of August we'll be headed there. And uh, so uh, I, I hate that, but it is what it is. Right. But anyway, right. but we're going to talk about that. we got a lot more to talk about today. We're going to talk about the uh, big tournament, the uh, Ironman tournament that's going to be coming up over at Sam Rayburn as well. And uh, but we got a lot to get to today. But real quick, we got some great sponsors we want to recognize. Toledo Health, uh, located on Highway Six near Toledo Town, is a full service primary care and acute care clinic. Nurse practitioners Jarrett Rule and Melissa Vines bring quality health care that's convenient to the area. Appointments <laughs> available and walk-ins are always welcome. They treat it all from fish hook removal to chronic conditions. Give them a call at three one eight. 508-5323. It's located at 11340 Texas Highway in Manny, just east of Toledo Town and Tackle. Real quick, I want to recognize, by the way, the Olympics are on, and we've got our <laughs> official uh, cooler, right? a little mug I got at uh, Colorado Springs last week, and uh, that's a this is a fine little cooler right there. I love that thing. But anyway, uh, good luck to all the U.S. Olympic teams uh, this next two weeks. Also, Iron Man tournament coming up. Lone Star Bass Trail, one of our sponsors, is the guys heading this up. This is a unique event. It's it's basically two tournaments in one. You're going to fish in the morning uh, from 6 until 12 noon. You can weigh your fish in. You get three fish. You're going to weigh your three fish in. And then you get a little break from 12 to 4. Uh, live music. They'll have food, games, prizes, all kind of stuff going on for the kids. This is a family event. And then at 4 o'clock, you're going to launch again. You're going to head out on the lake and fish till 9, bring in three more fish, and then they're going to total up those two weights, the two three fish limits you brought in to determine the winner of this event. Uh, total weight wins everything. It's a, it's a really great event. Check it August the 7th. Mark it on your calendar. It's going out of Castle Boykin Pavilion, $300 per team. Kevin, what a, what a great what a great concept! Just a, something different too. It is, and it's everybody wants to fish right now, Steve. But it's hard to fish during the day. Oh, dude. And I, you know, 
I used to like to do in the night term stuff. I don't care for it anymore. I want to be able to see something. Right. But it's so dang hot. So yep. great concept right here that uh, Lone Star Bass Trail has come up with. You fish early in the morning when the best bite is, and you fish in the evening again yep. when the when the best when the best bite is. So uh, great concept. I think he think he knocked it out of part with this one yeah, for sure. He did. James, tell us about the boat shop. The Boat Shop. Mr. Raymond Kidd and his staff take great pride in keeping your boat and motor performing at its best. Certified Yamaha dealer and home to the best motor on the market today, the Yamaha Show. Also a full support Garmin dealer offering the best in electronics and the new Garmin trolling motor. So stop by 2410 Sanford Avenue in Shreveport and let the Boat Shop take care of all your boating needs. Give him a call at 318-402-0399 or go to ShreveportBoatShop.com to learn more. Thank you, James. James pushing all the buttons, making this show happen behind the scenes for us. We appreciate you. And uh, real quick, right now on the phone from Ross Motorsports, we've got the one and only Ryan Williams, who will be the tournament director for this Brandon Belt Tournament. How you doing today, Ryan? Hey, what's up, guys? How are y'all doing? We're doing great. Great. Ryan, kind of want to jump into this thing here, and I know y'all have slowly been putting uh, information about this tournament out on social media. Uh, first of all, Brandon Belt is is the main guy putting this on, the main sponsor of this tournament, the starting first baseman for the San Francisco Giants. Um, kind of tell us, Ryan, where this came from, where this idea came from, and, and to make a tournament of this size. Well, I mean, the, the funny thing about this is it, it – kind of all derived from the from covid um you know a couple year or year and a half ago that they weren't allowed to play baseball for a while so brandon was was able to come back home and and his his high school coach which is a it's a, uh, it's a smaller uh town here right beside lufkins called hudson but his his baseball coach from from high school you know talked him into finally going fishing he's like brandon you're going to enjoy this you're going to love this and, and one day Brandon finally went and didn't catch anything. And I think he went maybe one or two more times with his coach. And finally, he was Brandon was throwing a, a, a popping frog there on Rayburn and caught a, caught a fish on a frog. It was only 14, 15 inches, real small fish. But at that moment, Brandon fell in love with fishing. And it's, I've never seen anybody fall in love with it just after catching one fish. Uh, and, and I'll never forget, Coach Kimball sent me a, a picture of Brandon's fish, and he said, I guarantee you he'll be up there within a week or two to buy a boat. And he did. He came up there, bought a, a, a Bass Cat era from us, and just the, re the rest has been history. And you would think a guy like Brandon, Ryan, I mean, growing up right there at, uh, outside of Lufkin, I mean, East Texas, the heart of the bass fishing world, basically, you would think he would have grown up with a rod in his hand, but not everybody. Uh, obviously, baseball was his big focus. It was. I mean, you know, you can, of course, see how good he is. And, and I'm, I'm sure probably 99% of his spare time was, was in uh, batting cages or yep. pitching or doing whatever. So Yeah, that's exactly right. So, so Ryan, and we're again, we're going to jump into all the, the – really jump into the details here in a minute. But first place is $100,000. Where in the world did this come from? Well, I mean, you know, as, as all this leading up to it, Brandon – you know, there's a couple of times we're having dinner or whatever, and he just kept on talking about he wanted to do something to give back to the anglers. Uh, he didn't want to make any money on this deal. Of course, he doesn't need any, um, but but he just wanted something to give back to the anglers. And he, he we had a couple of conversations, you know, over dinner or, or, or if we were fishing or whatever we were doing. And he just kept on, and I'm like, I'm in if if you're 100 percent positive, if, if you know, if I can have your 100 percent support, and and just one thing led to another, and, and of course I've got I've got some pretty good contacts in this industry, and I made a couple of phone calls, and you know Kelly Jordan being one of them, and, and Rick Pierce with the the basically the CEO of Basscat, and just after you know four or five different conversations with people that i look up to in this industry i mean it just everything just started started happening and it seemed like it happened overnight and this thing has just grown brandon what i mean uh ryan what's the dates on this event the day's going to be february 3rd 4th and 5th uh it's a three-day deal 400 teams um are going to be allowed to fish us the 400 max uh, 400 teams fish the Thursday and Friday, and then we cut it down to the top 20 teams, which are going to be fishing Saturday. Oh, okay. And entry fee? Entry fee is $800 per team. Um, again, it, of course, it is a $100,000 payback. Um, and uh, we're also going to have a side pot, which we're calling day money. 
Um, a lot of the a lot of your rodeo guys that, that you know term will make sense to them. But for an additional two hundred dollars, you can get in this day money, and it's going to basically pay the the top thirty stringers for each day on Thursday and Friday. And just to give an example, you know, if, if 300 people or 300 teams out of the 400 get in the day money, mm-hmm. it's going to pay out $30,000 on Thursday and $30,000 on Friday. So um, it's just another way wow. that you can you can just add to the sum. That's a pretty good side pot. So <laughs> so on an $800 inch fee, first place is $100,000, and I'm sure y'all have been asked this. What, what's second, second place and kind of, you know, what y'all got worked out as far as the payout goes? I don't have those right in front of me, but I believe second place is going to be thirty thousand. Uh, third place is twenty five. Fourth is twenty, and fifth is fifteen. If I remember correctly, <laughs> so fifth so, place uh, yeah. gets you fifteen thousand yeah, dollars, Steve. Exactly. So you pay yeah. one for every five, one for every four, or we're gonna we're gonna pay down to fifty spots. Oh, okay. Top four hundred boats, fifty spots. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Now, and Ryan, I heard you talking about this in another video you guys did. <clears throat> what is big bass? Big bass is, of course, the, the the fish does have to be alive, and you know, in order to be counted for for big bass, we do have that in the rules. Uh, but big bass is going to be a, a premium. It's a 2022 premium bass cat boat. I mean, we're talking about a you know seventy eighty thousand dollar boat, and uh, and then we're going to have on the back of it a, one of the new four stroke Mercury two fifties. Yeah. Oh wow. So you get a, a a brand new bass cat for winning big bass of a four hundred boat tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, sir. Now, that's important. Now, that's important. now, Ryan, is this going to be a trailer event, or will you be able to trailer from one end of the lake to the other, or are you all going out of one location like Humphrey Pavilion? Well, it's, it's Humphrey's, but we, we tried and tried to get Humphrey's, and, and maybe we'll do something uh, different the following year. Uh, but, but this one's going to be out of Castle Boykins. The first two days are going to be trailering. You can you can launch from any, any public boat ramp. Um, that's that's on Rayburn, and then the last day, of course, we're cutting it down to twenty, and that's going to be a, a that'll be a flight a, a event out from Castle Boykin. Well, there's a lot of guys that are not that they're they're not unhappy you're going out of Castle Boykin, so uh, that's, that's that's a great place <laughs> to go out of. It's that end of the lake where a lot of guys are going to be fishing if, anyway for a trailer invention, which it will be the first two yeah. days. That that does make it more accessible. Oh yes, no uh, doubt. Being yeah. a trailering event and it, takes a little pressure off it, that ramp. parking. Yeah. For boats I, I would think parking shouldn't be too too no, bad they won't be bad uh, plus there's gonna, two two ramps close by right there too that's correct and 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 uh, fishers of men they're bringing their national trailer down uh, as well as they're bringing like 14 or 15 employees and we're, we're going to have a crew here that is their job is to manage traffic um, there's it's anticipated around 150, maybe 160 um, trucks and trailers can park at the at the main ramp there right. in the parking lot. Right. You can probably fit in a, maybe about another 80 to 100 at yeah. the old Castle Boykins boat ramp. Yep. And going to uh, open up that gate that's normally closed. I think they open in the morning and close in the evening, but they're going to leave it wide open for us. And we're going to build a. Um, it, it's right off the old Castle Boykins boat ramp. There's a there's a road that goes off that goes to the swimming area, and they've got mm-hmm. bathrooms and stuff over there. And we think that we're going to be able to park up to about a hundred more right there. Yeah, so, well, I mean, and there's there's also a boat ramp straight across from Castle Boykin uh, in that little pocket right Hunter. there. A lot of guys at yep, Monterey. Uh, Monterey Park. Mm-hmm. I think it's Monterey Park. A lot of people will launch yep. in this idle across. Yep, that's exactly right. So you got plenty of parking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course, five fish limit. And I'm trying to think of any other details that I'm, I need to ask. Uh, as far as registration, how are you doing registration, Ron? Registration is going to be online. Our website, we're having a really nice website built. It's been in construction for about three weeks. We're hoping to have it done in about a week. Um, but everything's going to be done online on our, our website. We'll have a just a registration uh, button you can click there and get entered. October 1st? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. October 1st is when it's going to be Friday, and we're going to open it up 8 o'clock in the morning, Friday, October 1st. Now, I've got to, I've got to ask, how is this going? To, I mean, 400 teams, that's not going I, – I predict 30 to 45 minutes it's going to take to fill up. So, yeah, I, I think – Probably right. I mean, I, I'm guessing probably two to four hours, you know? Oh, no. There's no way it's going to take that long uh, maybe for Maybe an hour. I would say an hour how, at the most. Unless your website shuts down on <laughs> now, you. Now, that's my question, right? So, everybody, I mean, you're going, you know, 8 a.m. October 1st, the registration day, you're just going to get flooded with, you know, I mean, uh, 
and everybody's able to register at the same time. As long as you click that, I mean, you're registering through. So as long as yours goes in and you're one of the first 400, you're in. Yes, sir. You will. Uh, if, if you click it and you pay the money, register, you know, put in all your information, you'll get a confirmation email that you're in. So. Gotcha. And Ryan, you're probably still working on some of this, but like uh, product giveaway, some of the sponsors that may be participating in this event, can you release any of those yet? Um, yes, we're... <clears throat> I got a I got a phone call a couple of weeks from a, a gentleman named Winston Tucker. Um, he's kind of behind the scenes. He's 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 actually he's one of those guys that whatever he touches it turns to gold. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I know I know Winston. I know Winston. <laughs> I mean, he started Sitka. Uh, you know that which is a, a great brand, but um, he was one of the founders of Guggen. Um, and, and, and he's also the founder of, of Favorite Fishing, uh, space, Favorite Fishing Rod USA. And we were able to uh, – I've got a gentleman named Carter Willman. He's, he's our director of operations, and he's uh, he and I both flew to ICAST and, and had a really good meeting uh, with these folks. And, I mean, they are, they are 100% on board. They absolutely love the concept where it's, it's actually 118%, including the boat, it's 118% payback. And then the proceeds are going to the Father's Heart organization, which is an orphanage in Brazil. Um, and how we kind of, just real quick, how we got in, into that organization is that's the organization that Fishers and Men has been involved with for years. Um, and a lot of their proceeds go to help those, those basically starving kids down there. Uh, they don't even have any shelter, no food. I mean, they're lucky to get a meal, you know, every couple of days. Um, so this, we're hoping, and, and we know that this is going to change the lives of, of a lot of children down there. So now, Ryan, another thing too is this looking to be a one-time deal, or maybe trying to make this an annual event? What's Brandon thinking at this point? Well, you know, in, in Brandon, and I, we we talk about this a lot. We talked about it yesterday or last night. Um, you know, we're definitely going to have this at least an annual deal. I've been working on, uh, 2023 for about a week and a half now and, and, uh, can't really give you a whole lot of details there, but you know, we're, we're thinking about doing a, a trail of some sort in 2023 <laughs> and then having a championship where it's a quarter million dollars first place. Oh my God. That's what we need. Another trail. <laughs> As long yeah. as you come, yeah, to, now I long make more as you decisions. come to Toledo Bend, Ryan, we're all good. We got to have some more on Toledo Bend. Oh, Red River, it even. No, I, I tell, no, I'd love to have no. you on Red River one time. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, Toledo Bend is definitely uh, definitely on the table. So we we've, we've talked about that a lot. Well, good deal, good deal, man. Sounds like it's uh, gonna be a good thing. Sounds like Brandon's got bit by the fishing bug. So, uh, oh. he. he He's, he's, of course, he's being funny, but he's made the comment a couple of times. He's thinking about just retiring so he can fish for a living. <laughs> <laughs> he better make that money while he can. I like telling because he yep. starts fishing, he might lose a bunch of money real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, well, man, Ryan, hey, man, sounds great. It's going to be an awesome event. We'll, we'll continue to promote it uh, here, especially the closer we get to that date. Let people know, especially the registration date, uh, because and Ryan, I, how can we go to follow it? To, to I mean, what do you have a, pay, a Facebook page up already? How can we go follow information yep. about the tournament? Yeah, we're on Facebook and on Instagram. It's, it's just Brandon Belt Fishing is what it is, and we'll try to keep everybody updated. And, and then, of course, like what I was saying earlier, hopefully in a week to two weeks max, our website's going to be up, and then that'll have every bit of the information as far as you can read our rules look at our sponsors at that point in time and and uh it's, it's got some really good information and and brandon even wrote a uh kind of like a short story of you know where he you know where all this got started like from high school to up till now so yeah gotcha well gotcha. sounds like nothing else it's a great cause and uh so uh i I'm just i think it's just gonna be a huge success uh just just based off what you've said and the way the tournament's being set up and of course it's sam rayburn you're gonna have a turnout there no matter what so uh, as long yes, as my computer don't glitch at 8 a.m yes. on october 1st <laughs> i i will be in it you will see me there there you go there you all right. go all right ryan hey man we appreciate you and uh thank you for for coming on board with us today and uh looking forward to talking to you in the future yes sir hey thank you all so much and god bless all right, Ryan Williams, Ross Motorsports. He's the guy, tournament director and manager for this for this particular event, with, and working in hand in hand with Brandon Belt. And and I think you heard him say a couple of the uh, uh, Kelly Jordan. I think he had a couple of other guys he's bringing into this. And uh, so it's always good to get input from those guys that that fish a lot, especially a guy like Kelly. He's got a lot of experience, a lot of background, and 
Steve, yeah, a drugs. trail where the championship is a quarter of a million dollars that's, in East Texas. I, that's <laughs> my goodness. And, and if you limit it to the certain number of boats, which seems to be the trend right now, that dude, that that'll fill up faster than wow. Yeah, uh, that's that's crazy. Uh, you, if you're a tournament director out there, you and that happens, you better know for sure what those events are because you don't want to schedule on top and, of those. And, and for an eight hundred dollar entry fee, Steve, yeah. you're fishing for a hundred thousand dollars on an eight hundred dollar entry fee per team. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we have fished for a lot, a lot, a lot, lot less, less for a lot, lot more. more. That's exactly right. And uh, well, anyway, again, we can't thank Ryan enough for coming on with us. You got some good insight. Uh, pass that along to your buddies out there and uh, tell them to go check it out on our YouTube channel or check us out on our Facebook page as well. And uh, But real quick, before we get to – now we're going to get to upcoming events, what else is going on. And uh, but we got some more sponsors we've got to recognize real quick. And where are we at here? Oh, Pride Rods. Uh, custom rods built in Montgomery, Texas. The finest rods ever made by Mr. Billy Kistler. Constructed with the finest North Fork composite blank by Mr. Gary Loomis. They carry a complete line of spinning and casting rods for both freshwater and saltwater applications. Pride Rods pass not only the eye test, but performance as well. Ask your local tackle dealer if they carry Pride Rods and pick one up to try for yourself. To learn more, go to PrideRise.com or give them a call at 832-418-6040. A store within a store. That's exactly what Cypress Knee is at 3J's 4-Way. It's a great place for lunch, awesome deli, best fried chicken in the South. 3J's 4-Way, they offer gas, food, ice. But Cypress Knee Outdoors offers a great selection of hunting and fishing gear, products from Santone, Strike King, Spro, Gamagatsu, and, of course, the number one soft plastic on the planet, V&M. Also, hunting supplies from Primo, guns from Winchester. Bought one there last year from John Abraham and the guys down there. Remington, Mossberg, along with a great selection of ammunition. Again, if you're a hunter, you better start stocking up now. Stop in and say hello to John Abraham and his great staff at Cypress Knee Outdoors inside 3J's 4-Way, located one mile east off I-49, exit 127. Call 318-238-HUNT, H-U-N-T. Keys to Lita Ben Tackle. Stop by for the latest fishing report from former Elite Series Pro Ben Matsubu and owner Keith Neighbors while shopping for all the right tackle to make your trip to Toledo Ben or Sam Rayburn a success. Whether your trip calls for bass fishing, white perch tackle, catfish bait, or the ultimate fighting shiner, Keys has you covered. Located on Highway 21 on the west side of Toledo Bend, just across Pendleton Bridge, coming from Louisiana. Uh, it'll be on your left just before the Carice Creek Bridge. If yep. coming from Texas, as soon as you cross the Carice Creek Bridge, it'll be on your right. James, tell us about the Lakes Insurance Agency. The Lakes Insurance Agency is an independent insurance agency that has been taking care of Texans' insurance needs for over 25 years, offering auto, homeowners, boat, recreational vehicle, life, health, and commercial insurance. The owner, Clark Moore, is a local guide and tournament angler who understands your insurance needs as a boat owner and wants to be your go-to guy for insurance needs. So give him a call for your free quote. The agency is located at 805 Southeast Stalling Suite 3 in Nacogdoches, Texas. Give him a call at 936-205-4467. You know, those guys from the communications department at Northwestern State University <laughs> are off the chart good. Dude. They know what they're doing. They know how to talk. They can actually... If he just had a, new, if he just had a clue on what he was talking about, <laughs> fishing is not his forte. Hey, he's doing a good job, though. All right, let's uh, check out what's going on here. Kevin, you got the Elite Series schedule, I think, right in front of you. I do, Steve. And to quote Jason Christie with this, he said that he's going to call this the wheelbarrow tournament uh, schedule. <laughs> oh, really? He said you better go. have a wheelbarrow to to take your way in bag to the scales or you're not going to be looking at oh, wow. looking very well. Uh, uh, and he's right. I mean, this is just heavy hitter after heavy hitter. So February 10th through the 13th, St. John's River. February 17th through the 20th, the very next week, Harris Chain of Lakes. Uh, then the Bassmaster Classic is March 4th through the 6th at Lake Hartwell. Then we're going down to March 17th through the 20th. Santa Santi Cooper, mm. March seventeenth through the twentieth. I didn't have a great experience at Santi Cooper, but I but know it's a great time reservoir of year. Yeah, oh yeah, it's it going be... to get nasty. Yeah, then, really good. then to turn around, April seventh through the tenth at Chickamauga. Oh, don't get no better at Chickamauga in April. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so May nineteenth through the twenty second is Lake Fork. Wow, as they're just starting to get out on them deep patterns, we know that is. Mm. 
that's the time of year. Um, then June 2nd through the 5th is to be announced. That is going to be the Texas Bass Fest. Yeah, okay. So they haven't decided yet. They haven't decided where it's going to be at yet. Or they I, haven't I'll, announced where I'll it's going to be I'll make a prediction at. on that. I'm going to say OH Ivy may be on their target Ooh. list. I could see them maybe going there. So. Ooh. I, I'm going to say something around Dallas-Fort Worth. Oh, you think? I, I'm going I'm to say something Dallas-Fort Worth area. Go back to where the Classic was? Possibly. Yeah, I, I don't know if that. it's big enough. That's Texoma. It's, Texoma's you another place. You got Texoma. You got uh, yeah. Ray Roberts. Just not. I don't know if it's big enough. You got Louisville. Yeah, for, which, for a regular event, you're now, probably right. Okay, let's 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 rethink this. So the 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 Texas the Texas tournament, the Elite Series does, is where they always weigh them in the boat. Yes, you're right. Right. Oh, Steve, right. Caddo Lake. Oh. Oh, that Ooh. would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, so I mean, that'd be great exposure for Cato too. They're going to be leaving late for. I'm just. I don't. That's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, but, but Shreveport could host that. They could it, handle it that. Could, it could. Yeah, but it's got to be a. Te- well, it's got to be a Texas. It's got to oh. be. It's got to be in East Texas. So that, well, but their host site. They could be in Shreveport, mm-hmm. but they could still launch in Texas. Right. At Caddo. I, so anyway, it, they're coming straight from Lake Forest. It's got to be somewhere in East Texas. So yeah. that'll be June Lake 2nd of the through the fifth. That that would not be. That's a bad another gig. hotbed right now. July fourteenth through the seventeenth, St. Lawrence River. Um, August eighteenth through the twenty first is Lake Oahe in South Dakota. St. Lawrence River. That's one of my bucket list places. Yes. I want to go there. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Then August twenty sixth through the twenty ninth, finish up the year at the Mississippi River in Wisconsin. So which is that on the is northern the, end of the river, and it's just a ton of backwater fishing. Uh, great fishery up there on the north end. As Jason Christie says, that is the wheelbarrow schedule. Yeah, he's he's not far off. I'm telling you right now, they're gonna sack him on some of those events. Uh, so, uh, next thing, uh, which we've kind of already alluded to a little bit, I think you got the the Pro Circuit and the Toyota Series, the Tackle Warehouse Pro Tour for MLF and the Toyota Series schedules have been announced. And I will tell you, two of my very good friends is could not be more excited oh. for this schedule. Uh, as soon as it, as soon as the schedule came out, I gave both of them a call. Nick LeBrun, who we know his history on Sam Rayburn and how well he has done. Justin Cooper, yep. uh, again, we know Justin's always done well at Sam Rayburn, but both those guys are just super, super excited. So they, the year starts out in January, Sam, uh, January 27th through the 30th. This is a pro MLF pro circuit tour yep. on Sam Rayburn. Uh, then they take a month off, March 13th through the 16th. is the Harris Chain. April 21st to the 24th is Pickwick. May 12th through the 15th is Gunnersville. June 16th through the 19th is Jane River. James River, I'm sorry. Yeah. July 29th through August 1st is Champlain. And then the title is August 16th through the 21st on the St. Lawrence River. Do they allow some of those MLF guys to drop down and fish these as well? Yeah, a bunch of them fishing like, this like year. Like Daryl Gleason. Well, he's elite. He's uh, not, that's right. Not, I'm sorry. No, like Skeet Reese. Uh, like Skeet Reese. Uh, yeah, uh, some of those probably, guys. Can, I would say half of the BPT guys are fishing the Pro right, Circuit. Right, so right. So, that, yes, they're allowed to come down. And last but not least, they also released a Toyota Series schedule. Not going to go over all of that, but the Southwestern Division, which is right here at home, uh, they are coming to Sam Rayburn February 10th, Lake Texoma on April 7th, and back to Sam Rayburn on May 4th. So... Toyota event is pretty much homesteading on Sam Rayburn, which is yeah. good for all the locals around. So. Yeah, yep, yeah. great, great. And help the, the lake right now, Sam Rayburn's like three feet above pool, so it's on its way back down to normal. And uh, it's dropped two feet in 10 days, so they are pulling water on it. Plus, we're not getting the showers we were getting before, so the lake's just gradually getting back to normal. And, uh, so, and speaking of getting back to normal, on August the 21st, that's when the ABA Open Series will wrap up their regular season. The Southern uh, South Texas Division, uh, they wrap it up on the 21st, and then they'll head to Lake Palestine, I believe the September 10th and 11th, uh, 11th and 12th at Lake Palestine for the two-day championship between the East Texas and South Texas guys and uh, to determine that I think if you're in the top five, you go to the race guide. But you also determine the top 10 from each division, which will end up going to the race guide as well. So uh, congratulations to those guys. It's been a good year for ABA. Uh, And you get the TTO coming up uh, also at the end of August. Uh, It'll be held at Lake Texoma. And once again, it is out of Catfish Bay, out of Texoma State Park on the Oklahoma side. Those guys that are looking to fish that, I know some of you tune in to us that are going to be fishing that. Uh, I would have assumed it would have been out of Highport Marina, but it's not. 
So if you got reservations in that area, you might want to look to rebook on the Oklahoma side, which is I, I have done today. And there are a few places still available, so you might want to check that out. But anyway. And um, not this weekend, but next weekend, August 7th, is the Ironman tournament put on by Lone Star Bass Trail. Don't miss out on that one. That one's going to be a good event. No, heck no. That's going to be a great event. So, uh, Kevin, now we're going to be all, oh, real quick. I, I actually checked mine yesterday. Check your batteries in your boat, especially if you've just had it plugged in on charge because a lot of guys like myself i'm not a summertime fishing guy i fish very little in the hot summertime hate summertime fishing but if you're using your boat or you just charging the batteries check your water levels i checked mine yesterday every one of my batteries needed water and i'm glad i checked them when i did so uh it'll it'll make them last longer make sure you use distilled water and uh, don't use tap water so uh because the chemicals in that tap water can mess up your batteries but anyway uh, that's just a that's just a good reminder. Uh, check your battery levels right now. And Steve, this will be the last show for three to four weeks. We're going to take the month of August off. We got a lot of things going on behind the scenes, kind of making this a bigger, bigger, bigger and better show for yeah. all of you guys. Uh, we will come back on air the first week of September. Um, so we will take the month of August off, kind of get everything reorganized for you guys, get some stuff lined up, some bigger and better things lined up that we have coming uh, for the new year for Tackle Talk Live. So, again, first week of February, we'll be coming back on live. And continue to check our Facebook page because we'll be posting things on there from time to time about upcoming events, especially in August since we're off. Results. From results. We'll post some of the results from the ABA, uh, the TTO, those kind of things. And then we'll kind of touch on them when we come back in September. But, uh, hey, looking forward to September. It's hard to believe, Kevin. We're, we're almost into August. Yep. Once September gets here, in my opinion, it just the fall flies by. Once football season is here, it just seems like the fall flies by. And it's my favorite time of the year. I love the fall and uh, love fall fishing as well. So uh, check it out. Uh, some of you guys that like to hunt, thank you for hunting because it just opens the water up for guys and like And it's going and to be a very, very busy fall. I mean, yes, September, it is. every weekend in September is a huge tournament on Sam yep. Rayburn. Uh, don't forget the VNM Bates tournament coming up September 25th. Yep. And then also like a busy October, busy November. I mean, there's a lot of things going on this fall. So we're going to have an action packed fall, no doubt about it. Yeah, we are. Looking forward to it. And again, we appreciate you tuning us in. If you're interested in sponsoring the show, message us on Facebook. We'll get back to you. Kevin will send you a packet and make sure he gets in contact with you. Uh, looking for more sponsors as we head into September. Uh, love to have you. Please check us out. Message us. Get a good response. We'll have a really good response in the fall. And uh, looking forward to, I think you're going to like the changes we make to the show uh, starting in September as well. So looking forward to that. Uh, that's all we've got. Thank you for tuning us in. We appreciate you. If you want to learn to catch more fish and continue to catch more fish, you got to watch Tackle Talk Live. Have a great week, everybody.